this video, I'm going to show you how we can use that formula we talked about earlier to actually find a missing angle. So in this case, for this here, we have a triangle. And we're trying to find angle x. We don't have angle x, but we have two of the other angles. Remember this formula up here, we can find what all these angles would add up to. Obviously, we know in a triangle it would be 180, but I'll just show you how we can use that formula to prove it. So n minus 2 times 180. In this case, for a triangle, n would be 3. So that would be 3 times 3 minus 2. So in this case, 3 minus 2 would be 1. So the brackets would be 1. So 1 times 180 is what the, is the sum of the interior angles. That means that's what they all have to add up to. So 1 times 180 is just, it's just 180. So we know that uh, for a triangle, all the angles add up to 180. But what we can do now is we can just, to find this missing angle, we can just subtract or minus the other two angles that we know and that leaves us the, the angle we're trying to find. That leaves us with angle x. So in this case, we have 180, and we subtract. We take away this one. Let's call it angle A and this angle B. So we take away angle A. That's minus 80, and take away the other one, which is minus 45. And then what we have left is our actual angle x. So in this case, 180 minus 80 is 100 then 100 minus 45 would be 55. So in this case, x would be 55 degrees. So that's how we can find the missing angle. I'm going to show you another example. This example might seem a bit more complicated, but it's actually not. So the first thing we have to use this formula, first thing we have to find is how many n, how many sides this actual shape has. So in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. So 5 is n. 5 minus 2 would be... Three, so we have 3 times 180 would be, in this case, 3 times 180 would be 540. So we know that the sum, that's we're trying to find here, the sum, so all of them together are 540. Now again, we, we only have x missing, so we're trying to find x. x is what we're trying to find. But we know all the other ones. So all we have to do is we have to subtract the other ones from it. So 540 minus um, 110, so we remove 110 from it. That would be 430. Then take away another 100. So take away this one. Minus 100. That would be 330. Then take away 125. So minus 125. That would be um, 205. And then take away 85. So minus 85. And that would leave us with... Um, 120. So in this case, by removing all of the other ones, we found that x must be 120 degrees. Right? So remember, to get the missing angle, you basically find out what all the angles would add up to by using the formula. Then you remove all the angles we do have to find the missing angle. In this case, angle x was 120 degrees.